Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am back on Customax with yet another amazing brand, a new update. Now before we get into that, I just want to announce a really juicy giveaway of 10 of these limited easter eggs. There will be two different winners winning 5 of these easter eggs each. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, make sure to turn on notifications, make sure to like the video and comment your in-game name down below. The winners will be picked in just about two days. As always, they will be announced in my community discord, in the server discord and on my pinned comment. Links of discords are down below in the description, so definitely make sure to join those. Anyways, as always, whenever you are on CustomX, make sure to check out the YouTube voting page. On here, content creators like myself will be posting content that they make about CustomX. Whenever you see a video post on here, make sure to give it a watch, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the content creator to support them, as well as leave a nice comment together with your in-game name. Once that is done, you would be able to hit collect and receive yourself some free YouTube goodie bags, which you would be able to open up or sell for some juicy rewards or a nice amount of cash. So to start off, there are a few adjustments that have been done to the Well of Goodwill, which you would of course find at the home area. Now the global cost of 10 million is still the same, but it will work a little bit different now. So when the well is filled, there is actually a 1 in 4 chance, which is a 25% chance of activating a random perk. Now the experience bonus has also been increased from 30% to 50%, so that is super sick. And the 4 perks that you would be able to uh, uh, activate are the following. So you have the 50% global damage output, you also have the 50% um, global experience boost, a 50% global drop rate and double drop rate boost, and also a double boss drop. So both or 4 of these perks that you would be able to activate anyways let's go ahead and contribute and see if we can actually go ahead and manage to activate one of those perks and maybe or actually i donated enough to the well as you can see right there granting everyone a 50 percent bonus drop rate and double drop rate so enjoy for everyone who is on the server at the moment now there was also an update to the virtuosa skull sacrifice which you would do at the hero's fountain of course now the sacrifice has been modified so you will no longer be able to obtain yourself treasure island teleports or enchanted detachments from the sacrifice. This now makes your chance to obtain one of those two horns, two in seven. And the other available drops are of course Easter attachment, Christmas attachment, you can also get upgrade hearts, Halloween attachments and anniversary boxes. So the um, chance to obtain the horns are more common now. Now some additional changes to the Heroes Fountain is that you will get double loot. So to balance out the change to Well of Goodwill system, they are also introducing a new perk, Paradise perk, to the game. With this, you would be able to get yourself the double Heroes Fountain loot, so that is super sick. Now this perk will not work at a 100% rate of course because that would just be very OP. This will work at a 25% rate and with the introduction of this perk paired with the removal of Treasure Island and Enchanted Attachment drops, we believe that this will revitalize the incentive to farm the Shaman Virtuoso which is one of the bosses that actually got added not too long ago. So a brand new boss has been introduced to the game as well. If we check out the boss teleports and we scroll all the way down to the bottom, normally we should be able to find ourselves the Calamitous Cyclops. Now if we teleport to the zone, you will see that we can't instantly enter to the boss area. As you can see, there are actually three pedestals right here and we have to um, give a crystal to those pedestals in order to activate the gate. Now the crystals that you have are the Expert Ruby, you have the Gallant Emerald and the Noble Gold. You would be able to obtain those by using a crystal knife on an expert attachment, gallant attachment and noble attachment just like this as you can see right there. Now once that is done you should be able to pay the entry right here, do the same for the golden pedestal and of course the emerald pedestal. And I think now if we go ahead and right click fight boss we should be able to find the Calamitous Cyclops. Now as you can see there are three different versions, I just entered the emerald version and if we go ahead and check out the drops we can actually see that he has some sick drops including this dusty gem right here at a 1 in 25,000 rate. Now this dusty gem is something that you will look for whenever you are fighting this boss of course. Now quickly checking out the ruby version as well, if we examine this, uh, this one as you can see you will also be able to get yourself a dusty gem whenever you are killing this. Now there are some drops that you would need for a new upgrade to get into the new Calamitous armor set which is the new best in slot armor set. Now you would be able to obtain this set by upgrading your infected armor set with drops that you would need from every single um, Cyclops boss so definitely make sure to grind out all three of them. 
So as you saw on the drop table, the Cyclopses would drop the Dusty Gems. Now they look very similar, but they are actually three different gems. Once you cut those down, you would be able to get yourself the Calamitas Gems, the Gold one, the Ruby one, and of course the Emerald one. Now you will need all three of those in order to be able to upgrade your set. If we check out the upgrade machine right here, you'll find the brand new armor set. For this, of course, you would need all of these gems together with the infected piece and also some 1 million coins. And you only have a 50% chance of successfully upgrading this, which means that there is still a 1 in 2 chance that you will lose all of these items and you'll have to grind them out again. And the same goes for every single piece on this set and with that of course you would be able to make this brand new best in slot armor set. Actually let me go ahead and equip it, I do have a bunch of cosmetics on so let me unequip those real quick. Now I should also mention that the dusty gems can't only give um, these gems right here, they can actually give you some additional um, items as well. For example, each dusty gem, uh, gem that you clean or cut has a chance of giving you one of the armor set pieces. It can also give you um, cash, 250,000 cash would be, or 250k cash would pretty much be the base that you would be able to obtain. Now you would also be able to obtain a 1 mil cash tag at a 50% likelihood, you would get the gems at a 30% likelihood, and then of course the armor pieces would be the most rare at a 20% likelihood, but that is still a really good chance to obtain one of those armor pieces without even trying the upgrade. Also noticeable about those three new bosses, they actually have some combat restrictions, meaning that you would need a certain combat style in order to be able to damage the bosses. Starting off the ruby, you would only be able to damage the ruby version with melee. Then we have the emerald version. The emerald version would only be affected by ranged and the gold version would only be affected by magic. So definitely make sure you calculate that in whenever you are going to these bosses that you have the corresponding uh, textile so you would actually be able to kill them. Also for the first time ever in Custom X history, they are introducing armor requirements. Now in order to wear this brand new Calamitous armor set, you must have made all three clue gem sacrifices, meaning that you would have to unlock every single boss of the new um, what's called Calamitous Cyclopses before you would be able to equip this set. This is of course being done by um, chopping up or cutting the gallant attachment, the noble attachment and also the expert attachments into the uh, emeralds, the ruby and also the gold um, crystal that you would be able to use on those pedestals. So this brand new Calamitous set is also one of the largest jumps they had in a long time when it comes to armor sets. This new set comes with a special full set bonus. Now the Calamitous set offers 20% more damage boost than the full infected set and it also can be worn together with the Felion Helm, Grandmaster Boots and Gloves if they are enchanted with Calamitous. Now wearing the full Calamitous set also offers players an additional 1.5% experience multiplier so that is always super awesome. So as I just mentioned, you can actually go ahead and infuse those two together to make the um, Grandmaster Glove C, which is of course the enchanted version of the Calamitous uh, Gloves and Boots, together with the Grandmaster set. If you go ahead and do that, you would actually be able to combine those two to make the brand new Calamitous set together with the additional bonuses, so that is super awesome. Also, I haven't mentioned this yet, but for the crystal knife that you would need to chop up the um, enchantment or the attachments rather, you would be able to buy that in the Slayer store for 2150 Slayer points. Now there are also some additional quality of life updates, for example at the Dracon Raids the Bardiot has been removed so you can now go ahead and open up the Dracon chest without having to complete a full raid so that is always super nice. Now the Oblivion Raids map have also been updated and adjusted to have the trees removed that were causing clipping issues so that is also super sick to see. All raid chests will now have an open 25 option on them if you right click so that will actually speed up if you collect a bunch of keys and that will also make it a lot easier if you want to do a big opening. For the rest they still have some additional updates um, in the discord of course that you would also be able to uh, check out every once in a while because they post a lot of things on there as well as sneak peeks that are really interesting. Anyways, that is going to be it for today's video guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you didn't already. Also, make sure to enter the juicy giveaway of the Easter eggs. And with that, I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. So take care and peace.